Hey guys, JD here with Jerry. We're in the Varga Arboretum at the USU Botanical Gardens. Uh, we're going to talk to you about some cool conifers. There's a number of them that JD and I, we don't think they're used enough and they're, they're just really cool and we just want to show people them. Well, I hesitate because these are the ones I have in my yard and I don't want everybody to have my trees. <laughs> but in the, in the, because you're a good guy. In the spirit of education, we thought we would share some cool conifers. This one behind us is called the Alaskan Weeping Cedar. And in my opinion, it's tough as nails. It is, and it's so cool looking. It's unique, you don't want to plant too many of them. Right. But to me, it's a specimen. You put it somewhere, it draws attention, it's a focal point. Now I'm gonna age myself a little bit, but I kind of call this the Snuffleupagus tree. Because the branches kind of weave, kind of like Snuffleupagus's hair. But I like it. Really cold hardy. I live in Cache Valley. I've got one in my yard zone four uh, and i've seen them up there i've seen them in other places as well but again very unique you don't want to plant a whole hedge of them no but Just, it's a really good focal point conifer. yeah it is and it gets what about 30 feet or something yeah it's not it's not super big no but this is a good one so this little guy is called sherwood's dwarf bristlecone pine and bristlecone pines are really unique in the intermountain west what i like about this one is it stays small it's compact i love just that look to it it's related well the bristle cones are the oldest some of the oldest trees on earth right now yeah. uh, you go down a great basin and what are they three thousand plus yeah we've got we've we've gone on that hike along, oh. along that loop and seen those three thousand year old trees so and my mind is all of a sudden gone because that's just so cool <laughs> it so is beautiful. if you've never been to great basin national park that's a must see you got to get up onto wheeler we uh, peak. peak and see some of those old trees yeah yeah so this is like the little nephew the cute the cute little <laughs> nephew that's good for rock gardens tight spaces again but again you can see six to eight feet is about what it'll get and it is bristle cone which means hardly any water yep that's loves really dry soil harsh conditions really hard to kill that's why it's doing so good yeah. here <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> we've talked about some smaller trees i know this is one of the huge ones. This is a Dawn Redwood. This has got some of the coolest history behind it. It was thought to be extinct for a lot of years until some scientists found it in China. Yeah. And it was during World War II, 1945-ish. And some scientists snuck into China and got some seed, brought it back. And some of those original trees are in some of the botanical gardens around the nation. But this is one we planted probably about 10 years ago was all yeah and it and it the one thing I like and you have to be careful of is they're fast growers and they're big trees huge uh, the cool thing that I like about them is they're what we call a deciduous conifer they drop their needles I had somebody one time come into my office with a stick in November and said I planted this Don Redwood and then all the needles fell off so it's what, dead <laughs> yeah <he's, laughs> so what killed it well you did <laughs> So, and, you, but before those needles drop, they go like a oh, bronze they're, orange color. They're really, really unique tree. They really are. And in the spring, even as the new needles come out, I love that look. That just is a real pretty, um, oh, just a focal point. But they're big. Yeah, give you them some remember, space. These are big. Here's another one that I know is one of JD's favorite trees. It is. I, I love this. Is an Oriental spruce. This one is the particular variety is Gaudi. There's another one called Deer Run that's very popular. It has a, it's a little thinner, I think, Deer Run is. Yeah, and it's got bluer leaves than this. But I love the short needles, and they're soft. Yeah, I was going to say, I like it because, you know, when you think of the spruce and some of the others that look like this, you bump into them and you go, ah! Well, you kind of swear sometimes. Well, maybe. But this one, you can be a true tree hugger <laughs> yeah. and give it love. Again, it's a smaller conifer. You know, a lot of our yards are becoming more and more small. so. This is something that would fit in a, in a landscape. A lot of times we try to put the, we buy the cute little blue spruce or something and in 10 years it's dwarfed the house. These guys that we like stay right where we want them. Yep. Yeah. So this is a cedar, a true cedar, not like the junipers that we call cedar. Not the Utah cedar. <laughs> no, this is a cedar and it's a cedar of Lebanon. Which, you, which is really, you, has a cool history to the Middle East. It does. Forests of these things, and they're massive. Huge trees, and really cool looking. Now yeah. this one is called Nana, which botanically means dwarf. <laughs> so this is a dwarf tree. 
but you can see dwarf doesn't always mean small. I mean, it even looks big compared to Jerry. Well, there's most things <laughs> big compared to Jerry. But it's kind of interesting to me because a lot of people say, well, I bought it and it said dwarf. This is dwarf? Yeah. When compared to the other species, yeah, this is dwarf. And keep in mind on a conifer label, usually they'll give you the 10 to 15 year range. So then you have to extrapolate. Okay, how long am I going to live here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so again, cool conifer, smaller in size. Try it out. So this skinny guy right here. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> makes me feel bad about my own physique, but this is called the Cupressina Norway Spruce. And you can see behind Jerry's head, the real Norway Spruce has sweeping branches. Big. They can get quite large and, the, and spread. Yeah, but you can see this through plant breeding. They've got this vestigiate or columnar form. Really great for corners of homes. A lot of people, uh, they look for this, they'll go down south and they'll see some of those Italian cypress. <clears throat> and then they'll come home and they'll buy a juniper that after a little while flops. Yeah. Look at this baby. This is tight. This is really good. This, this I like. Yeah. And sometimes you'll pay a little bit extra for some of these conifers. But the reason for that is through the breeding process. It takes years and years to develop these. The budding process, getting them to take. And they're a little slower growing. You can see the growth on this is only a couple inches. So keep in mind, you'll spend more up front, but it's well worth it. Oh yeah. So check out some of these cool trees and come and visit us at the Varga Arboretum. We're here in Kaysville at the Botanical Center. Please come by. Grab a weed if you'd like to, take it home as a souvenir. We're good. We don't have weeds here. <laughs>